It almost feels like being on a, a whole other planet. I can only go so far this way. Just to the other side of Medford. So I'll have to get on the I-5 down there. Just to give you an idea of how, how close this came to me. And it's still only 20% contained, so it could jump. I mean, if we, the winds pick up again, we're not out of the, we're not out of the woods yet. I think the entirety of Jackson County is still under a level one evacuation. Which the, uh, the three levels, you know, one, two, three, there's ready, set, go. So level one, get your stuff ready. So the level two hits means it's set. Like, so all the stuff that you got ready at level one, you've put it in the car and you've, you know, locked up the house and got everything prepared there. So that when a three hits, three is go. That means don't wait, don't get ready, don't get set. That means you should already be out the door and moving when a go gets issued. So you've got U.S. Cellular Field to the sports park right here to the right. And I didn't quite make it that far. It was just south of this complex. But so right there is that much five miles from my house right there. City of Phoenix right there. You can see the retardant drop on the freeway and then all the lines cut in to get to access points. But yeah, the city of Phoenix was just demolished. The uh, current best guess estimates is about 80% of the uh, downtown area. And they've got the, the area completely shut down to any access, with the exception of you can be escorted in to your property, like verifiable on your driver's license, like address, to get anything that you might possibly need. But other than that, there's no access in there because they've had a real problem with looters and whatnot. Plus, it is still an active fire area. They, they have only got it like 25% contained. So there's a the very real risk of like flare-ups and stuff. Yeah, you can see all of the all of the burnt spots. And then here's a couple of mobile home parks. Just complete devastation. Current estimates have it at 600 homes. Something to the tune of like 3,500 people displaced. I think the fruit harvest ain't going to be that great this year.
But yeah, every single person is just like looking looting. This is the other town that got hit hard. The city of Talent. This down here is where the fire initially started. Down here is just outside the city of Ashland. Where the whole thing kicked off. And then just a few hours of those 40 mile an hour winds just whipped it. it six miles of the... You know, it's just... This valley just creates like a wind tunnel that you can't see on either side of us just kind of focused all that Santa Ana wind straight up the gut. probably don't want to spend too much time breathing this. This whole area here was under evac warning. Wednesday, I think it was. Yeah, Wednesday. So as we get down the road here a little further, past this uh, this upcoming stoplight, you'll get to see what the Yeah, uh, yeah. This is uh, this fire right here is what made me evacuate my house. We could see the flames from this thing at our house. It was a good 100, 150 feet in the air. More over on that side. And when you're coming up the five through that area, you can see black patches, like the center median there, and then on the right hand side, you can see black patches where it was trying to jump the I-5. Well guys, uh, it's uh, I'm signing off from here. It might be a it might be a minute before I post anything up because I uh, definitely not going to be doing a whole lot of riding in this, and I'm probably not going to be out in the garage working. So yeah, everything's going to kind of go to a standstill for the moment until it clears up around here. This doesn't seem like it's going to be anytime soon. Because yeah, the Rogue Valley is just, uh, just inundated at the moment. We got the big ass open chain up north and then there's the, uh, the Slater fire is another big ass fire just southwest and it's a it's a border fire the majority of it's on the south side the california side but there's a, a good chunk of it that's like crossed over into oregon all right guys i will uh i will be speaking with everybody again later and uh whenever that time comes i've uh, got a whole pile of parts on the impreza or waiting to go on the Impreza, so once it clears up out here, I will get out and start working on that. 
And until next time, uh, stay safe, have fun, peace.